Hello there everybody, so I'm back with an actual video, not just a video updating as to where I've been, all the excuses and why I haven't been posting and all that good stuff. This is actually a real video and it's actually on a little bit of the serious side of me. So. Um, today my video, in this video, I'll probably try my best to make a more light-hearted one. But this one's a little bit of a more serious one and it's on the topic of bullying. And it's, um, the reason why I'm making this video is because, um, there's been a lot of issues with, uh, bullying at my old high school. And not just my high school, in other schools too, high school, elementary, whatever. Um, and I just kind of want to address the topic of bullying, and I want to talk about my experiences with being bullied. Um, so, let's get started. Um, currently, I'm pretty sure this died down a little, um, died down a bit, but probably not completely, but at my old high school, two girls had gotten in a fight, and the girl that, um, was being bullied got sent to juvie, I believe, for beating up a girl and sending her to the hospital. But the actual bully didn't really get in trouble. The only thing she did was just get sent to the hospital. Um, I'm not saying that, uh, how do I word this? The fight wasn't a good idea from the start, but and I don't condone with anything that happened, but I don't believe that the the person that was getting bullied should have been uh, punished that badly because um, she was provoked overall. But it seems that everybody else except for administrative people can uh, realize that these people were treated unjustly. And it's quite sad that the person that's being bullied or somebody that's protecting somebody from getting bullied gets the most punishment than the person that actually provoked the other person. Like, let's say I decided to fight one of my friends, um, and um, I've been provoking her. Like, let's say I'm just, like, teasing one of my friends, and she got so mad to the point where she just beat the crap out of me and she like broke my nose or something. In that situation, probably at my school, she would be the one in hot water and I'd get off scot-free. And it's quite sad because in that scenario, I should be the one that's getting into the most trouble. But that's not how it works and it's terrible. Um, so now I want to talk about my experiences with getting bullied at my school and how things were handled. So, um, I've had two really profound experiences with being bullied. Like, I've always been bullied, I've been teased. But this moment was, um, these two moments were the worst moments I've been bullied in high school. And one of them was handled, uh, quite nicely. And the first time I was bullied wasn't handled exactly the way that I planned it to be handled. So, um, I'm going to talk about that one first. So, my first experience with being bullied in high school was, of course, during my freshman year. And what had happened was, is, um, I was running a mile and we had to run around um, a sidewalk around these tennis courts and our basketball courts. And what had happened was we had uh, we were running on a sidewalk path, and these group of guys there were probably about six guys, like kind of buffish guys, were um, blocking my way. And what happened was, is I kind of slowed down to a jog when I reached up behind them and I said, excuse me, and I tried to pass, and they shoved me into a fence quite forcefully, and it really hurt. Um, I did nothing. I've never talked to these guys, but they just thought that uh, me being polite and asking if I can pass them should, uh, they thought the best way to respond was by shoving me into a fence. And what had happened from this forceful shove was that I screwed up my shoulder. So if you can see my shoulder right now, probably about this part of my shoulder was internally bleeding. Not severely, but it was significantly internally bleeding. And what happened was, is after that, I, uh, 
I'd also gotten an asthma attack, so uh, I went to my teacher, tried to explain the situation to her, and um, she sent me away to the nurse to get my asthma <laughs> attack treated. Um, the only good thing that came out of the situation was that because of these people that shoved me into the fence and that forced me to go to the uh, to the doctor was that I actually found out that I had a really awkward type of asthma, exercise-induced bronchospasm. So thank you, douches, for shoving me into a fence and finally diagnosing my asthma. Thank you. Um, but the way that they handled the situation was is that they told me, oh, can you uh, identify the guys for me? And I responded justly, uh, I can't remember the faces of all of them, but one guy had extremely curly hair. That guy in my class has extremely curly hair. I know that he was one of the guys for sure. In fact, I think he was the one that initiated that shove into the fence. Um, and they said, okay, well, this is what we're going to do. We have a ton of security cameras around the buildings and we got it in such a good angle to where we can see what happened in the situation. She addressed the entire PE class trying to make uh, my identity anonymous, but of course it wasn't anonymous because I was the only person not dressed out and she's talking about a girl that was bullied the other day and of course all eyes were on me. Um, but in the end, nothing was done about the situation. Even the guy that, um, even the one guy I identified got off completely scot-free. And it sucked. Like, uh, when, I, when I thought about it more, the problem didn't really bother me. Like, I, I got banged up a bit. Okay, no, no problem. But it was just that the fact that they didn't really try hard enough. Because what if something worse had happened to me? Like, what if they actually were stupid enough and they hit me in the face? Uh, <laughs> nothing would have happened to them. Um, but anyway, that was that I was teased a lot during PE. I was called Satan's child, the devil, uh, all of this stuff. And once again, that wasn't handled in a way that I would want. Uh, one situation though that was actually handled in a way that I wish every single bullying situation were handled. So what happened was is I was a sophomore and I was in my math class and there was a girl that used to sit in front of me that hated the way I acted. Um, this is when I started coming out of my shell and I was more energetic and I would talk a little bit loudly. So before class I was talking to my friends and she just turned around and said, God, why are you so annoying? Like, girl, I did not deserve that. I know I'm annoying. I don't need you to point that out for me. No, I don't. Um, so then what happened was it, it led to a bunch of events of her making a big deal about how annoying I was and she's just making fun of me the entire time during class. And uh, what happened was is she was openly bullying me like this is you know those kinds of situations where this per where somebody's talking to their friends and they're not saying your name but you know they're talking about you da yeah. yeah that's what she was doing the whole freaking period and what happened um was is i got the guts to actually say you know you're such an annoying freshman like why don't you try being mature Turns out this girl was a sophomore like me. Um, just like... So what happened was is she got really mad at me. Again, she's telling her friends about me without saying my name, but I know she's talking about me. And uh, what had happened was is it, it really got to me. And I remember just sitting in class just trying to choke back the tears. I was trying so hard not to cry in class. I'm actually a very emotional person when it comes to being bullied and all that and I can't handle these kinds of things uh, quite well but I managed to hold all the tears back and at the end of class my teacher had been watching everything that she was doing to me and when I went to my teacher to tell him about the situation he said don't worry I saw everything I wrote a referral she's going to be suspended from class for two days and we're going to help you along with this so uh, I got justice in the end. She got suspended. Well, not like completely suspended for in school, but she got in school suspension for that period, which means that she was in a different classroom for two days in hell, which she deserves. 
Um, and what happened was, is for me, was that uh, I was allowed to choose where I got to sit in that class. If she looked at me in a dirty way, uh, I could tell my teacher and she, and he, uh, he would suspend her again for another day. And I had an extra day to do my homework because I couldn't concentrate on the lesson. Um, and I f uh, felt that I actually got justice in that situation. I was really hurt. Like, I know that I'm annoying. I know that I'm a very outgoing, loud person. But that doesn't mean you have to attack me to your friends right in front of me. When you're literally two inches away from me, can you at least, like... Do you know, spare me some mercy, and if you're going to talk crap about me, can you do it when I'm not around? That would be so helpful. Um, of course, those aren't, only, those aren't the only situations where I've been bullied. I've been bullied plenty of times, um, but these were the more profound situations where I was bullied, and I wanted to talk about the way that that was handled. But there are a lot of situations nowadays, especially at my school, where uh, people are getting bullied and nothing is being done about it. And that the people um, that, are being, uh, that are being attacked are the ones that are being punished. And that's just not right. Yes, they, uh, yes the situation was handled in a very bad way. Fighting is never, uh, should never be an option. It should never be a last resort. But sometimes things happen and that's everybody's first initial thought is to fight and to cause violence and that's not good. So I ask all of you guys, if you're being bullied, go talk to someone that you can trust. Like a very trustworthy teacher, a friend, someone that can help the situation before it gets completely out of hand. I had to do that a couple times where... um Actually, one time, there was a girl that told me I should have been aborted, and I got really upset. I wanted to punch her square in the mouth when she said that, because nobody should ever be told that they should be aborted. So I went to administrative services, not really administrative services, I just went to, like, the school counselor. I told them what happened, and they talked to her, and they just handled the situation, and that was the end of that. Um... But you always want to handle the situation before it gets completely out of hand and fighting becomes a, a, a really tempting idea. And I just want to let all of you guys know that are getting bullied, um, you can always talk to me. Like, leave a comment down below telling me if there's something wrong and then maybe we can email each other and we and I can help you through your situation and all of that stuff. I'm not a counselor. I don't claim to be a counselor, but I'm a good listener and I can help you if you want it. Um, so yeah, uh, please <laughs> share this video with your friends. I don't want it for the views. I want this video to be shared because bullying is a, a strong rage and issue. And I just want this video to go around to sh uh, tell everybody Bullying is never the answer. Violence is never the answer. And I hope that this can be prevented. And I hope one day bullying is completely stomped out. <laughs> and sometimes I feel like it's a possibility. But at the same time, I don't have hope for it to be completely diminished. But we can only hope and we can only strive for the best. So if you like this video, leave a like. And at the meantime, why not subscribe to me? I'll try to make videos more often <laughs> from now on. And I actually have a couple of videos planned for this coming week. So, uh, you know, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below. And until the next time, people, audio.